Hi guys, it's Unique Sumi here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a Greek inspired tiny home or little home, whichever you would like to call it. This is a one bedroom and two bathroom house. This is perfect for two sims or one sim um, if you want to start out with a family in this house. I tried to keep it on the low budget side but it was very difficult because <laughs> I went all out with this house and I have to say that I am really not sorry about that because I am happy with how it came out. I built this house from a reference picture so I tried my best to keep it um, keep it looking like the reference picture but with the game it's a it's a bit hard because there's some things that you just can't do in the game so yeah I tried my best to do that so here you will see I had a little issue with the stairs because <laughs> uh, every time I tried to rotate it I rotated it too far so I had a little bit of a brain fart over there <laughs> and then this wall I was trying to have um, it looked like it had a stair effect so I was struggling a bit with that but I managed to get it fine and yeah so here I'm just placing some windows and what happened is I found the, the these windows and I ended up changing them later on but I did it off camera so you won't be able to see that um, mainly just because it was a last minute <laughs> uh, change of heart with the windows but these blue ones um, managed to look just fine because it gave some extraness to to the house because Greek houses in general if you go and look um, look them up on Pinterest or Google you'll see that most of them have this blue and white um, look to them so you will see throughout the build that this house has a lot of blues and whites as well as cream colors in so yeah I really enjoyed doing this and I love the colors it's not something that I would ever build in, in general but I had a lot of fun <clears throat> sorry for that I had a lot of fun doing this build because <clears throat> sorry guys <laughs> because um, I was inspired to do this I went and looked up some things some different houses that I would never normally build and I came across this so I thought like maybe I should do a Greek house so yeah I think it came out very nice here you will see that I'm doing a little backyard patio or barbecue area which I really like because you will see in a bit I found these nice blue arches that I'm placing over here and I decided to place it throughout the whole backyard patio um, end because it was just nice for me um, it just gave us something a little something extra if you know what I mean so basically your sims can come here and have a barbecue or just like have a, a, a dinner party or whatever in their backyard and I like that it's open and your sims can enter from any side of that patio so it's very nice in my opinion <laughs> I like it so here you will see that I was struggling I tried to do a porch or also like kind of patio but it's like the front yard of, of the house so I tried to have it look like um, the picture that I was building from and yeah I will soon be putting up a front door between those two windows that's why I left open a space because you will see that there is stairs going up and those stairs lead to to the bedroom so um, another thing that you will also find with Greek homes is they always have these stairs leading up to a different room that um, is separate from the rest of the house. So it's not something I would normally do in my build because it's, it's unpractical for me. I would rather have the bedroom inside the house than going outside <laughs> um, to a separate room. But yeah, this is from the picture so that's how I did it. But I, I really like it. It's something different, like I said. Um, so here I'm just doing some landscaping and you will find that my landscaping I'm still practicing so I'm trying new things every time 
and I like to keep a pattern with my landscaping if that makes sense I know a lot of people don't do this but that's just how I do it I like to have a pattern of um, things repeatedly in the garden like it was planted there for a reason <laughs> basically so um, I hope that makes sense but you will see throughout my other speed builds my my landscaping does tend to change every time because like I said I'm experimenting so there are things that I'm, I am willing to try out and I'm still finding the groove of how I want to do my landscaping so I do it different every time but yeah I, I really like this and then I was just placing a few bushes here and there just to give it a little bit of an extra look to it so yeah, I really like my landscaping in general because it just gives something extra to the yard. So I ended up placing another arch on the side next to the stairs just to give it an extra entry, uh, extra entryway <laughs> um, or walkthrough or whatever you want to call it. So just to make it look a bit more nicer. So now we're moving into the or uh, to the inside of the house. <laughs> you guys i'm struggling so bad today so we are moving to the inside of the house and this is the bathroom area so i didn't want to make it too big um and yeah i i i just wanted it to have enough space for a shower as well as a toilet and a sink you know the basics as well as your washing machine and the necessities for for the bathroom because with laundry day stuff you you need the laundry basket kind of it's like you can't <laughs> go around it because if you don't have the laundry basket in your house and you have the laundry day stuff back your sims are going to throw their clothes onto the ground so <laughs> i am kind of obligated now to be using the laundry basket so if i have the laundry basket i am kind of obligated as well to use the washing machine <laughs> or place it in my house so yeah it's it's just something that comes with the territory when you have the the laundry day stuff back so there I'm just placing the washing machine and the final touches to the bathroom and then I end up changing everything because um, yeah I'm just full of nonsense <laughs> and things were just not looking right to me so I ended up changing everything and with this change I felt very content with I felt like this was how it was supposed to be so yeah I I don't know I just have some issues when it comes to furnishing because I like everything to be precise so now we're moving over to the kitchen area and this was a very fun part of the house for me because um, I really wanted to place white counters but I felt like placing white counters with the white walls is just going to be a bit too overdone so I went with this cream color or beige beige color counters and then I made the stove I used the white stove as well as a white fridge which just gave a little bit of balance to the kitchen area so I really like how it came out because it's nice crisp and clean but it still has a little pop of color even with the blue doors and the blue windows it just gives a little something extra so yeah I'm really happy with how it came out so you will see me moving things and placing them somewhere and then moving them completely somewhere else that's just me um, trying to figure out what I want where and how I want things so you'll see me change things up and maybe you'll think like oh yeah that looks nice and then I end up changing it so <laughs> I'm really sorry for that it's just a nasty habit I have and like I said I'm still learning with all of these things I'm learning to um, build in my own specific way taking tricks and tips from other uh, youtubers who build as well because you guys have some awesome tips and things that I learn from you so we well whoever videos I watch <laughs> so yeah there's a lot of things that you can learn throughout 
the other people's speed bolts so yeah I tried to make it my own thing then yeah I was just placing some clutter here and there just to make the kitchen look a little bit more homey but I normally use custom content in my videos or not in my videos but in my builds so I just recently took out all my custom content furniture because it's a bit hard for me to um, build with custom content furniture when you guys don't have these things um, per se so uh, it's hard for me to go and get every link for every object that I use when it comes to um, custom content furniture so yeah I decided to take all of that out and just build with my backs and I also recently took out my alpha hair so that was a little sad but I moved over to Max's match hair but I still use alpha clothes and makeup and things like that so you'll see me use those things when I do my creative sim videos and yeah I will try my best to add the CC links for those videos but when it comes to the speed builds uh, using CC furniture it's just a bit harder because all of those small objects and things that I use as clutter it becomes like it becomes a burden when you have to look for all of those links and um, I'm just being honest you, know, you guys um, <laughs> it's a lot of work just to get all of those links so I'd rather build without the custom content furniture than build with it and you guys didn't get the full house like I built it so I hope that makes sense so here I'm just doing the dining area and this is like a very tiny but cozy corner where your sims can have their, their dinner or lunch or breakfast or whatever um, I use this corner for the dining room because it's very small and um, like I said cozy so uh, I just love how that came out and then on this side of the room I did the TV room or the living room or whatever you guys <laughs> like to call it we call it like the TV room in South Africa because I'm from South Africa so we just have different sayings for different things so it's just a bit uh, <laughs> different in every country I guess but yeah I'm doing the TV room over here and I was trying to play around with carpets because my one friend who also does YouTube videos Roxy I will leave a link in the description below so you guys can go and check out her channel if you have not already and go and subscribe she's very nice I learned uh, a trick from her where you can place carpets uh, on top of carpets just to give it a different kind of effect so I was trying that out but for this particular uh, look that I was looking for in the TV room it was just not working so yeah I end up changing the colors of those couches to a nice green uh, color and then also with a splash of orange so I like the way it just gives color to the room I just love how it looks so now I'm just finishing up just placing a little bit of clutter as well as a few paintings just to give it that cozy feeling in in the living room or TV room because um, sometimes it gets hard not knowing what you want to place on the walls so and that's the other thing I am very picky when it comes to paintings <laughs> so yeah so now I'm just doing the upstairs area that I was telling you guys about the stairs leads to this room so this is the bedroom and I had enough space to place in a built-in closet as well as a tiny bathroom for your sim so your sim will basically have their own privacy up here so you can lock the bedroom door and no other sims can come in here if you wish uh, so yeah maybe mainly because like I said this is very un uh, practical for me because having the bedroom go outside you have to go outside to go to your bedroom it just does not make sense but you yeah. <laughs> like I said it's how the reference picture came out or was looking so I was trying to build uh, from the reference picture 
so here I'm just doing the bathroom and this is a very tiny bathroom so I had to take out that window because I wanted to replace the sink with the mirror and the window was just not <laughs> making it easy for me so I had to take that out but nonetheless I think the bathroom came out very well so I just tried to make it more comfy and cozy if that makes sense so yeah I tried to this was something new that I tried out I tried to place this uh, plant on top of the toilet just to give it a little bit extra to do this if you don't know you have to use bb.move objects on and you will be able to place the plant on top of the toilet so yeah I tried that out and then I was just <coughs> placing this desk work area in that corner because it worked out perfectly when I placed the the built-in closet I had enough space just to place that office area or desk area over there and then with the bed and um, the rest of the bedroom objects I tried to I made the bed I used the white bed from cats and dogs and then I used a splash of blue colors throughout the bedroom just to give it a bit more um, pop of color so you'll see light blues and dark blues throughout the bedroom and I think it came out nice I really like how it came out so yeah um, and then I was just trying to find the right carpet to fit so I ended up using this one and it it just made everything make sense at that point so I was just filling up the room a bit more to give it that cozy feeling because I like my houses to have that cozy feeling it just it just makes your sims more happier in my opinion <laughs> so yeah we are finished with the inside of the house I'm just doing this outside port when you go up the stairs to the bedroom so here I just placed two windows just to give it a little bit of a, a, a how will I say a little bit of a diversity I use that word a lot but um, yeah I just wanted to to do some flowers and just give it a little bit of greenery in, in this part of the build so I didn't want these walls to be empty if that makes sense because I normally just leave things like that and I don't place a lot of things on the walls but I felt like this is the type of build where I can go insane with the greenery <laughs> so yeah I went insane indeed so now I'm just finishing up the barbecue area where your sims can have their barbecue or dinner parties or whatever. So I just placed a dining table and a barbecue uh, over there and or like a grill or whatever <laughs> you guys call it. And I removed those two arches because they were just not working at that point. And then I just added a little bit more greenery so yeah you'll see me use a lot of greenery in the build so yeah that is mainly how the house came out and the screenshots will be coming up soon so I hope you guys enjoyed this build if you like this build you can find it on my origin ID on my gallery which is linked below in the description so I hope you guys enjoyed this build let me know in the description or in the comments down below what you guys thought and what you guys would like me to build next if you have some nice ideas so thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed I, I appreciate it a lot you guys are amazing if you have not already don't forget to like and subscribe as well as click the notification bell I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are thank you so much for watching Bye.